crazy mongoose dog for this special bulletin. Good evening. I'm Harry Kane. And I'm Gail Thorpe. As you all know, Detroit is on tornado alert. But we here at New Sip wanted to find out what is a tornado. To get this answer, we went to senior correspondent Monty Sue. Thank you, Gail. Tornadoes aren't actually all that difficult to understand. <laughs> It all starts when a large mass of cold, dry air meets a large mass of warm, humid air. Thunderstorm clouds form where the two temperatures collide. This zone of clouds, called the squall line, produces violent weather. The inrushing warm air will occasionally rotate and form a tornado. If a tornado touches the ground, it stirs up dirt and debris. The twister begins to roar like a train and will destroy anything in its path. It's also very interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's great, Monty. But where are tornadoes most common in the United States? Well, Harry, we sent our field researcher sunny day into the um, into the field sunny thanks gail i'm standing here on the kansas and oklahoma border this four state long strip of land counting nebraska and texas too is commonly called tornado alley because of frequent twisters oklahoma averages 47 cyclones a year But tornadoes don't just happen here. Every year, more and more people are killed by tornadoes throughout the U.S. All tornadoes are strong and dangerous, but probably the worst one happened in March 18, 1925. It killed 980... Oh, it killed over 989 people and was one of the largest and fastest tornadoes on record. Its path measured 220 miles long, roaring through Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana, and was a mile wide. And death and destruction was everywhere. This tornado traveled at 60 miles per hour. But some tornadoes have been clocked at 70. That's great, but can you tell us more, Sonny? Tornadoes are the most powerful storm on Earth for their size. Their incredibly fast winds can blow up to 300 miles per hour. The tornado's funnel can stretch up to heights of 20,000 feet. They're usually accompanied by rain or hail. They're strong enough to flip cars, send houses flying, and uproot trees. Now, how can the folks at home survive one of these? Tornadoes. Yes, tell us. Well, there are several things you can do, as my handsome assistant, Grant High, is about to show you. Thanks, Sonny. Well, the first and best place to be is in the basement, away from the south and west walls. The reason for this is because tornadoes travel from the southwest to the northeast. As you can see, southwest bad, northeast good. The second best place to take cover would be in a small, windowless bathroom or closet. Getting into a bathtub with a couch cushion gives you even more protection. The extra framing it takes to put a bathroom together 
makes a big difference. Lastly, conducting annual tornado drills will definitely help. Well, I hope that's cleared up any problems or questions you might have had, Harry. Oh, it has. Well, I don't know about you, Gail, but I'm going to start living in my basement with a couch cushion and a bathtub. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. And now back to Mad Mongoose Crazy Dog. Smaller circles. Well, Miss Guzio, that was my project. I hope you and the rest of the class enjoyed it. Uh, Grant has a written copy of the script. Uh, Grant, why don't you go take it up to her?